the TikTok lawsuit, some background. So just last month, Congress passed the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act as part of supplemental appropriations. The act defines foreign adversary controlled applications and notably and expressly includes apps operated by TikTok and its parent company, ByteDance. The definition also includes other websites or apps that allow users to share content with each other, have at least 1 million monthly active users, is owned by a company located in, or at least 20% of its ownership located in, a foreign adversary control country, and has been determined by the U.S. president to constitute a significant national security threat. Under the act, app stores and internet hosting services are not allowed to enable distribution, maintenance, or updates unless an app's owners have executed a qualified divestiture. This means that the U.S. president determines that after the app divests, it is no longer in an operational relationship with a foreign adversary. Enforcement of the act is set to begin 270 days from its passage, which would be January 19th of next year. The act also allows for a one-time 90-day extension if an app can determine a path to divestiture but simply can't execute it by deadline. This means, in theory, TikTok has until April 2025 to execute. Not highly discussed, but extremely important, the act also requires that between now and the effective date of enforcement, all American users be able to review all data associated with their account, including posts, photos, and videos upon request. Sanctions for not complying with the act include a penalty of up to $5,000 per US user who accessed, maintained, or updated the act, as well as a civil penalty of up to $500 per US user who requested their data, which was then not provided. Just last week, TikTok and ByteDance challenged the act in US federal court, citing violations of constitutional clauses, including the First Amendment's free speech clause and Article One's Bill of Attainder clause. As these legal proceedings kick off and commence their way through the US court system, there will be broader discussions of the intersection of national security, free speech, and regular oversight in the digital age. Make sure to follow along here for analysis of legal proceedings and updates every step of the way.